Jump a little bit. Just, like, give, me a, just give me a hop, babe. Just give me a hop. Give me a hop. Yes. Woo! <laughs> How are you feeling? Excited, uh, anxious. Yeah, it's still so surreal. It's hard to it's hard to imagine that this is actually actually here. She came just to shadow us at our at our clinic one day. I honestly remember remember perfectly. She was wearing these bluish green scrubs, this sandy blonde hair, and I mean, right away I was like, wow. Seeing the way that he interacted with his patients at work. Just seeing so many common threads in our lives, it just, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, it just made sense. It was just like, he's my, he's my person. It was, you know, fate, I guess. You know, there's really no way to explain it. And it's, I mean, ever since then, it's been perfect. She is my home. She's, she's my everything. My entire soul is happy. It's amazing, it's amazing. Making chicken parm together, cooking together, going to the gym together, I get to work out with my best friend every day. Literally, it fits perfect in every single way. He makes me more patient and more loving and I love that we just complement each other so well that we can do everything together. We, it, it, we're just, I, I don't know, we're just compatible. We're just each other's people. It's, it's just easy. For those of you unable to be with us today, Aunt Janine, Papa, Nana, Great Grandpa and Great Grandma, Sarah and Michael, know in your heart that they are looking down with the same joy and excitement as we share with you on your special day. Sarah, you'll always be my little girl. Few of us live in the present with focused attention, locked in the past or concentrating on the future. We are not in the present, which is, after all, the only time we actually have. We try to be everywhere at once, then in a sense, we are nowhere. Sarah and Michael, be healthy together, be happy together, the rest will follow. Love, Dad. You have given me so much love. <laughs> a love that I never knew existed. You're my light, my inspiration, my home, and my soulmate. I, I vow to make my life forever yours and build my dreams around you. Through the highs and lows that life will bring us, I have the confidence knowing that you will be by my side and I will always be by yours. You have made me feel more loved than I ever thought possible. I love you and I give you my heart my faith, my life. I vow to dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through the valleys and the mountaintops for all the days of our lives. So I say I love you more than anything in the world. I never could have imagined finding someone who is literally my perfect, perfect soulmate. I'm just so thankful for God bringing Michael into my life and just for the ways that we're going to grow together and I'm just so thankful for just the friends and family that have loved us and supported us and walked alongside of us in this journey and 
I just know that this is only the beginning of just an incredible marriage and life together. Well, by the power vested in me by God in the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you husband and wife, whom therefore God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Michael, you may now kiss your bride. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Gerard Palevo. Sarah, words are never gonna begin to express my love for you, how, how much you have changed me. You are the most amazing woman in this entire world. And I'm the most fortunate and the luckiest guy to be able to say that you're my wife. You're my light at the end of the tunnel. You're my soulmate. I, I love you more than, more than I could possibly express. So, uh... One of the first times I ever met Michael was actually at the beach. I barely got to talk to him for the first 24 hours because they were off paddle boarding and then doing yoga and then running and then doing one of Sarah's super fun boot camps. Um, and that is when I realized that Michael was the perfect fit for Sarah. And since then, I've gotten to know Michael even better and realized just how perfect of a match that they are. Michael, you love your family just as much as Sarah loves hers. You are kind and caring, and you are everything that we would have picked for our sister Sarah. And in case you're wondering where her love of fitness came from, she learned that by chasing me around the house relentlessly and then beating the living daylights out of me. Oh, oh. Um, until I was in the fetal position on the couch. So Michael, thank you for taking over for this. <laughs> Getting to see Michael for the past couple of days, just how excited he was to see you. I actually pulled him aside the other day when we were here uh, and just told him, you look the happiest I've ever seen you. You make him happier than I ever could. <laughs> 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 